You haven't even heard me yet. You might not clap later. <laughs> so normally I just do everything from memory. <clears throat> but tonight I'll be reading some things. My name is Sakadik, and thanks for the wonderful intro. My chest is all puffed up. <laughs> what can I tell you? I picked berries. Buckets and buckets. Sucked up purple berry juice on my lips like lipstick and started one match fires for tea for me and my sisters. Dressed in Mother Hubbard flower print parkas and our only itching close calls were with black flies and horse flies and mosquitoes like hovering schools of fishes. We could have scooped up enough of them for soup. You'll want to know the tundra is one big tiring mattress to walk on with sloping stone breaks and muck to stick even hip length boots and pools deep and cool by boulders spotted with orange, yellow, black, white, and light green lichen. I can tell you the flowers are many and minuscule and plants tend to taste bigger than they look. Like roots we dug by rocks and ate with grit of sand and smelling metallic. Or I can tell you fish stories. From every point I ever cast a silvery lure to sing in char or trout or salmon, the small ones not caught in Norman's net, who went out at low tide with mending line to square up holes and came back with legendary catch of four-foot fish and no proof left but bones after supper. Even those the dogs might have choked down hacking throats. I can tell you how we sat low in canoes or slept curved against the hull of the Peterhead on long trips up or down the river or out into the bay where the boy at the prow was a spring and a watchdog looking for rocks to guard against and scraping oars on boat side, calling up seals. Rifles raised and ears ringing as bullets whined by, but we were never afraid. Bobbing on waves and peeing in pots with stars and aurora overhead, heading home after weeks and weeks away from town and clocks and telephones and mirrors and everything. Everything tasted so good boiled on a blue-flamed Coleman stove. I'll give you me at my Uncle Jacob's camp. A perfect place for us to pick seaweed and sea shrimp, swimming in small, salty pools, where across the inlet he shot a caribou and let it down gentle with knife in nape of neck. Where we came to fetch fresh water and wash our hair glossy, Elisapi and me. I can tell you how quiet is not silent but yields to gentler sounds. Like my Aunt Leah cleaning eider down and scraping fat off a sealskin as I watched, calmed, after a minor tiff over my brother gone hunting with the men. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> she made bannock and called me Bunnik, daughter, and I was appeased. 